Welcome back to Demolition Derby 2001. You saw a little sneak preview of our next event. It's the lingerie match race, and man, I've been waiting, well, I don't know, 20-some years, I guess, to see this, and it's just about to happen. Here comes number one. Who is it? It really doesn't matter to us. I mean, they're all great. It's Denise Lowden. Oh, Lord! Woo! Look at that shape! I want to see her do a muffler with another girl tonight. That, oh, please. That's quite an outfit. Topped off by some very nice white skates. Oh, yeah. She's all in white. <laughs> Angelic. Oh, hi, Denise. <laughs> Yes, we love you. We love you very much. Thank you. And now, Stacy Blitch. Those are the shortest shorts I can imagine, actually, that are not even shorts. She's in her uh, bikini. How about that? She is a snow bunny. Woo! I don't care what you call it. It looks good. So, Loden and Blitch. And now, Laura Weintraub, the pussycat. It's a pleasant outfit. I like those stockings. Yeah. Who doesn't? <laughs> Laura Weintraub looking splendid tonight. And Lindsay Francis looks like a Dallas cowgirl. One of the cowboy cheerleaders almost, don't you think? Oh, man, I don't know what I'm thinking right now. I didn't know they make shorts that short. Lindsay Francis immediately assumes the role of the favorite, I think. Obviously. Well, that's four. Oh, my God, look at those chills. Or maybe it just seems like four. <laughs> Here comes Shea Brown. Oh, my, my, my. That might have taken over the favor right there. I didn't know they had outfits like that in North Carolina where she's from. I don't think they do. That is hugging that body pretty tight, wouldn't you say? And it's looking mighty good right now. You know, they all like us too, Laura. You notice that? No, I didn't notice that. And now, Jamie Connemack, the sixth and final in the lingerie race. Cute little baby doll. You would expect that from Jamie. I don't care what the rules of this race are. It really doesn't matter. And a little oh, kiss yeah. for the camera. And what do you call that? Chatty chat with Connemac, I call that. <laughs> Notice they all uh, put a little dose of glitter on as well, as though they need it anymore. And we're not complaining, though. No, not at all. This is going to be quite enjoyable. The important thing is that we treat all of these ladies with respect, as well as our female viewers. Broadway? What were... Oh, sorry, Rory. I'm going to tell you fans something right now. Take a second, go to your VCR, and make sure the tape is still recording, because you're going to want to keep this next match race forever. It's the lingerie strip-off. What is he doing here? It's what a is the lingerie strip-off? Five laps, anything goes. Oh, what I mean, anything goes. After lap two, who's ever in last? You look good, but he's for me. you got to leave. Gotta leave here, Prophet. Back to the dressing room. This is for the girls. Remember, five laps, anything oh, goes. After I lap two, solid. whoever is in last solid. place is eliminated. Yes, and every yes, lap after that, who's ever in last, has to go back to the locker room until there is one woman remaining. It's the lingerie strip off. It's never happened before. This is gonna be unbelievable. Girls, get to the line and good luck. Oh, ho. oh, look at Broadway. I love this job. I love it. The luckiest man in America. I don't know what the prophet was whining about. He's trying to put his coat on Lindsey Francis. Good. Are they going to throw the prophet in? Put him in the cage. Let him enjoy himself. He's used to that. Lock him in there. Did you even hear one rule Broadway said just then? No, the yeah, rules don't matter. Exactly. I'm just going to sit here wide-eyed and watch. Uh-oh. The Hellcat's on the track. Uh-oh. Oh! oh, oh. What's with that? Did you hear that impact? Jamie Connemack's been knocked out. And now is oh. being stripped of her lingerie. Careful now, Hellcat. What in the world is 
is she doing? Don't be careful. Please, she's unconscious. The Hellcat's going to put that on. She wants to be in this race. Don't you know our, our audience out there, Rory? Conscious, unconscious. Half of our audience is unconscious, but that doesn't matter. That was a dirty trick. And that's her lingerie outfit. What's the matter with, don't you like leather? I enjoy leather pants. Not on the Hellcat. Connor Mack is uh, struggling to regain her feet. Let's see if she can take her place in this race. No, she's going to leave and say that's it for her. So the Hellcat gets in and Connor Mack gets knocked out early. And there they go. All decked out for the evening. One, one. That signals one lap is in the books. It's kind of hard to think about how many laps or count them out. I'm just watching the action, really. Exactly. This should just be just keep on going. Oh, look. Conamac's back with a trash can lid. Oh, payback. Oh, she came down that rail. And now she's going to get her lingerie back. Girls are protective of their lingerie, after all. And now it's the Hellcat who's knocked out. Jamie Conamac's out. Sean Corbin just said Jamie Conamac's out. She may be out, but she got her top back. Jamie, no! The race goes on. Shea Brown's been eliminated. Four women are left. It looks like Weintraub's going to go out. Yep, she's out. That leaves Lindsey Francis, Stacey Blitch, and Denise Loden. Any one of them will do. And I hate it when they say one of them's out. Now Stacy Blitz has been eliminated. Oh. Lindsey Francis goes against Denise Loden for the lingerie title. They're both certainly uh, qualified in my book to win this thing. And Loden oh. grabs the hair and wins it. And winner! Denise Loden with blood on her knee, but it doesn't matter. She didn't have her knee pads on tonight like she's used to. But she wins the lingerie race by grabbing Lindsey's hair. But you know what? In my eyes, we were all winners just then. Lindsay, that hair looks great on the pillow, but it didn't help in the match race as Denise Loden wins it. And Broadway Danny Wolf is with the woman in white. I gotta ask you, last year we had a race similar to this, the nightgown strip off, and you said after that, this proved one thing, that all the women in the World Skating League had class. You still believe it? We got class, and we got a lot of other things too. And let me ask, what is it like, Denise? Going around the track, there was one lap left. You and Lindsay, you don't like Lindsay. You pulled her golden hair back. It must have made you feel real good. It made me feel warm and tingly all over. I felt like I just ate a peppermint patty. <laughs> all right, congratulations, Denise. Job well done. Pretty much still intact. You're the winner of the first annual lingerie strip off. Back to you, Rory and Mark. Congratulations, Denise. Danny's in a trance. And there's nothing better than eating a little peppermint patty at bedtime. Okay, the Demolition Derby with the men is next. Don't go away. We'll be right back.